Hi, my name is Claire and I'm from Ireland. A while ago I went vegan as an experiment and I wanted to let you know how I got on. Here is a vlog of how I got on being a vegan for a week in Ireland and at the end I'll let you know whether it stuck or not and what my pros and cons were for being vegan. Let's go. Okay, so first shopping trip done. Show you what I got. I got lots of fruit, lots of salads, stir fries, pasta and pasta sauce. Big thing of pasta there. Um, hummus for snacks and almond milk for my tea. Got some fruit there as well, buried underneath somewhere I'm gonna juice. Um, that's not for me, that's Alex's. That's Millie's, that's also Millie's. So just, just, just the non-animal stuff is mine. Lots of things in Aldi were like marked vegetarian but not vegan. Like they've just had no mention of whether it's vegan or not. So, Claudia was helping me figure out what was vegan and what wasn't. Apparently lactic acid is not vegan, so anything with that is out. And gelatin. I got this soy yogurt, which I'm very excited to try. And I just want to find some sort of cheese substitute because, like I just I love cheese. What are your thoughts on me being vegan for a week? You're not gonna stick to it. Thanks for the belief. No problem. How are you gonna be okay just cooking for yourself for a week? I'm delighted I'm gonna eat steak sandwiches 24 <laughs> seven. I just got Claudia to check my favorite beans ever, cool beans, and she said they're vegan. Cause they only say vegetarian on them, but she said she looked through it and said there's no reason that that wouldn't be vegan. I can just eat these and potatoes for the rest of my life. It's fine. I'm happy out. This is all mine and I'm very excited about this week. So the first setback with this week is that shopping separately cost me and Alex more each. Um, between 10 and 20 euros each. So um, even though I did my shop in Aldi, it still cost me 15 euros more. And had I done the whole shop in Super Value, I'd say it would have cost me M much more. Second step back, we're having a fight over the Put the potatoes the bottom one. Okay, fine. It's not that I can't eat meat, I can't eat anything that has any sort of dairy in it whatsoever. I'm sure they're meat. So I can't eat 90% of food. First casualty of this week is this full thing of milk. Because no one else can drink it. And I, I drink it out of the carton. What a waste. Day one. Better take my almond milk to work with me because they don't have any of that in my office. And where's my lunch? Um, salad. Okay. okay, so this is the moment of truth. It's Monday morning. I'm going to have my first bit of vegan food in almond milk in my complex. First things first, the colour is very good. <laughs> and it smells like almonds, which I kind of expected, so let's, uh, let's try it. More. end of the world if I don't like almond milk um, I can make it work. I actually really like porridge and people have told me I'm a freak for e eating my porridge with apple juice but uh, I'm pretty sure the porridge is vegan so I can just switch back to porridge and apple juice. Who's laughing now huh? Who's a freak now? So I'm just walking to the shop now to get, it's raining, to get porridge for tomorrow and apple juice so I can have breakfast tomorrow. And because I haven't had breakfast today, I'm actually really hungry, so I looked at my salad and I was like, this cheeseless salad is just not going to cut it. So I'm going to Tesco because I know that they have this like vegetable soup thing that's vegan, so I'm going to get that. So I got this one, it says vegan on it, and I got this one, 
which also says vegan. I'm just home from work and now I'm making pasta and homemade guacamole then for later. Normally, I just eat whatever Alex is cooking and I think he's cooking this tonight. I'm actually really looking forward to having pasta. I know it sounds quite plain, but for the last two years, I've been kind of keeping a low fat, medium carb lifestyle, um, restricting kind of my intake of pasta and rice and things like that and bread. So I'm actually kind of excited to roll that out the window for a week. I'd say I'll have a tough time coming back from that. But anyway. So in the middle of the week, it was Alex's birthday, so we went out to a burger place. And actually the burger place had loads of vegetarian options, so that wasn't a problem. So this is where we came for Alex's birthday. And I got this. Um, but I can't have this rated thing, because it's yogurt. So I can have the rest of it. Not too bad in fairness, I didn't think a burger place would have a vegetarian option, so I tried to choose from it. Has this vegan experiment been annoying for you? Not really. It's actually been great because I haven't had to cook for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd really like it. I like your hat. I like your hat. Happy birthday hat. Okay. Millie! Millie! On the walkie. Oh, she knows that word now. Where's their lead? So today is Thursday and today is the first kind of bad day I've had. It, there's a number of factors involved. I didn't get enough sleep last night, I only got six hours, so I'm very tired, um, which is a big factor. I was very busy at work today and I didn't really get time to sit down and have a proper lunch, so I don't think I ate enough. So basically how I feel is Oh, and I also got my period today, so I mean that tends to affect things. So basically I feel really tired, really like lethargic, feel like I'm, like no energy, just feel real blah. Like I feel like there's a curtain around my eyes, like my eyelids are so heavy. I just feel not with it at all. Oh, and also, my office has been chilly for the last couple of days, but today it seemed to affect me more than everybody else. I was absolutely shivering. I am not hungry, but my hands are hurting me. So, muscles where I've previously had problems with, so like, I, I previously had carpal tunnel here, and I broke, I broke this tongue and pulled this muscle before. Like, the muscles I've had previous problems with are hurting me um, today, just like tinging a lot. Um, I kind of feel like I'm very weak and I have no strength. Um, my office has been chilly the last two days and a number of people have said it, but today it seemed to affect me more than everyone else. Like, I was, I was like in it. I was like, this is my desk, so cold. And ever since I got into the car to go home, I've been kind of like feeling sweaty. I kind of feel like you feel when you know you're getting sick at the start. That's how I feel. And I really hope I'm not getting sick. There's no, there's no reason for me to be getting sick. I'm still enjoying the diet. I'm still trying new foods. I hope that how I feel right now is unrelated. I mean, even my neck. I've had a crick in my neck all day for no reason. Um, I wonder, is it like a total lack of essential nutrients in my diet that I would get naturally because I'm not taking any supplements. Like I've just cut out all my calcium and all my protein pretty much. Um, it might be totally unrelated. But I feel like shit today. I feel like absolute shit today. And I'm about to cry. There's no reason for me to cry. I just feel like shit. And like having my period does not help. <laughs> my head's hurting, my stomach's hurting. <laughs> Fucking, I've got cricks all over. I'm tired. 
I'm gonna go home now and I'm gonna carve up to fuck and see if it will help. I'm just gonna eat a massive plate of pasta before Jack to give me some energy. I'm playing two tag rugby games tonight. So I'm trying to get on the Dublin team. So there you go, there you have it. Okay. So that, that's how I feel today. I might have a cry as well while I'm eating my pasta. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning I got up early and went to the gym and I'm feeling great, I'm feeling quite hungry because I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, last night was my first like bad day and again I don't know if it was specifically to do what I'm eating but I just felt really lethargic, really tired, I didn't get very much sleep the night before so that was probably why. So yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now today. Yesterday I came home and played two tag rugby matches. I didn't have time for dinner really. Um, and then I came home and then I went to bed. So I had like a salad. And I had these noodle things that I bought in Super Friendly that were disgusting. They were the, the worst thing I've ever eaten. And I had like crackers and guacamole and um, I never really something else I had, I can't remember. But yeah, last night was a bad night in terms of eating and that's something that I'll have to learn to to, to not do because for the last couple of years Alex has been making my dinners because it's easier. So he would you know we would chop together he would make dinner for the two of us. Um, it's, if I'm gonna be cooking for myself every single day I'm gonna need to sort of better figure out the time. I need better time management, is what I'm saying. Like daydreaming about my marriage in the gym. <laughs> oh, 21 year old Claire would hate me. <laughs> okay, so first, I suppose, major problem in the whole week. It's breakfast time on the weekend and normally I'd make rashers and eggs. Um, can't have either of those. And I left my porridge in work. So there's nothing in the house I can have for breakfast and I'm starving. So uh, that's me not being prepared. Um, that's kind of the most inconvenient thing about this diet. Is if you're not like looking prepared, you can't eat. Whereas other people can just eat. I feel like I've noticed a difference in terms of being a little bit more svelte and a little bit lighter. I, if I was to continue this diet, I'd have to take protein shakes because I haven't got any protein this week. I have eaten beans and that's it. Something else that has protein. In it. And then if I'm working out trying to build up muscle, like so, it just doesn't. It just doesn't work. I'm on my way to the shop to get breakfast. That's some get some cars and some apple juice. Maybe some cornflakes. This is annoying. This is inconvenient. I'm tired. I know that people are going to give out to me for that, but like, it's a fact. Inconvenience. This diet has cost me a fortune. You add up all the money I've spent. It's cost me way more. It's cost me almost double than my normal shop would cost me. Like, I've loads of food left over now. Do you know what I mean? Like that I didn't eat, so I was buying way too much. And that was just because that's gonna happen when you change to vegan, because you don't fucking know what you're supposed to be eating. You sort of buy, you go mad buying shit. And then you're missing like, important shit that you would have all the time. So like, like we have breakfast in our house, but it isn't vegan. Um, had I been vegan for some time, I would have had porridge there, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna buy this porridge now and have it for weeks. I'd say the longer you're at it, the better you're gonna get it at it, if you know what I mean? But I'm going to the shop and it's down as well. Because I forgot that I'm not 18. And you can't get away with that anymore. I'll give you that, that looks quite good. Grumpiness level receding. I need my breakfast to go to the gym today. I think the things that have annoyed me most this week are products that contain milk powder that I can't have. So like coffee or protein shakes. There's some of those. I have a couple of protein shakes in the house that I can't have. I also 
also bought fruit to juice and then just left it in the fridge like an asshole and I think the bananas have gone off. So again, you just have to be more on the ball. You just have to fucking think about everything you eat. I mean, it's actually fine in terms of like what I've been eating. It's fine. I feel great. I've got loads of energy. I'm just kind of fed up having to think about my food so much. And I kind of understand why vegans always talk about being vegan because I've kind of fucked with that like I've talked about nothing else this week. Because it takes up your every waking minute. Can I eat this? Can I not? I'm tired and grumpy. My grumpiness hasn't received that much actually. Alex giving me abuse here for having apple juice with my porridge. What's wrong with apple juice in your porridge, Alex? It's not a thing. It is a thing. I've been doing it since I was a child. Yeah, just built in there by mistake if you ate your porridge and then your mum was not down with it. That's what happened. No, my mum liked apple juice in her porridge. He even took a photo of me to send to a friend and be like, ew, isn't this disgusting? It was a video. Video. It is disgusting. It's fucking it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. This is vegan abuse. You're abusing. <laughs> I wonder how many vegans out there are putting apple juice in their porridge. Probably lots of them, Alex. Three, I reckon. <laughs> Three, that's incredibly specific. The end of the week we went to Taste of Dublin, which is like a food festival in Dublin. I couldn't eat any of the foods, so I didn't. Um, but I just drank. This is the most fucking South Dublin thing I've ever done in my whole life. This is like wanker 101. Like you wanna be a wanker? <laughs> then you better have been to Taste Festival. For fuck's sake. Like sorry, can you please look at the size of this wine glass? Okay. Hang on two seconds now, it actually looks quite big there. But it's fucking tiny. It's the tiniest glass of wine. Fucking four euro, that's outrageous. The fucking spices here are ridiculous. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but far the small glasses. The fake money is bigger than it, like seriously. And since I recorded that, and since I've done this experiment, I've actually learned that wine is not vegan. So I broke my veganism by drinking that wine and I didn't know. Got potato vodka. And it's stuff like that, little things that catch you out all the time. I got caught out at one sport match by a bag of jellies. I had eaten two jellies before I realised they had gelatin in them. So that's just the kind of frustrating inconvenience I'm talking about. I came home last night absolutely smashed and made crackers and hummus. That is fucking dedication. Like I didn't. For me, the biggest cons of the vegan lifestyle was the expense of the lifestyle. It was the inconvenience of the lifestyle, which I know is a really first world problem, but it did bother me. In terms of pros of the lifestyle, I felt like I did feel better. Um, until I started to feel worse. The reason I wanted to try being vegan was because I saw a video on Facebook of how milk is produced and it made me very sad and I didn't want to be a part of that anymore. So part of being vegan for a while really did feel good. I haven't continued to be vegan. I did continue it for one more week and then I went back, not even to vegetarianism, just straight back to meat eating. The reason that I did this is because my other half eats meat and we buy our food together, we cook our food together and it was, I was finding it very hard to manage not doing that together. Both financially and time wise and everything else, it just really, it was such an inconvenience. Again, I know that's such a first world problem. But for the main reason that I quit being a vegan was because at the end of those, around that two week mark, I started to feel muscle tinges. And now I had continued going to the gym and continued playing sport, but I began to feel muscle tinges in my arms and legs particularly. Um, the kind that you feel when you haven't worked out in a while and you, your muscles are wasting away. And that really scared me. Um, I thought that maybe it might be because I wasn't getting enough iron, I wasn't getting enough calcium, I wasn't taking any supplements. And I did a bit of research into like, vegan and vegetarian athleticism because sport is really important to me but in the end I just sort of gave up and went back to what I've always known because I know that that diet works for me when I'm trying to play sport and sport is what mattered to me more at the time so <clears throat> 
and sport really matters to me so that gets priority so that's why I went back I didn't think it was that hard to be vegan in Ireland there are options out there I didn't think the options were very varied some of them I didn't think were very nice but I don't think it's as hard as it's been made out to be um, to be vegan in Ireland although I imagine if I didn't have an excuse for it I would have got a lot of questions so my excuse was I was doing it for a video but had I not been doing it for a video I think people kind of would have been like what are you doing? You're just being difficult. As you can see from my dyed hair, I did not keep up the vegan lifestyle. If you're being vegan from an ethical perspective, which is what I was doing, that's why I wanted to go vegan, was the ethical side of it. I should obviously get rid of all my makeup that's not cruelty free, but also I should get rid of every piece of clothing that is from a brand that uses sweatshops and human labour. And it confuses me online when I see vegans wearing like Adidas and Nike and stuff, who I understand to use slave labour and it's just confusing to me. There were a couple of products that I really liked that were still, that were actually turned out to be vegan. Then there was like a really confusing part where for example I really like drinking Red Bull and Red Bull the product is vegan but I read a couple of blog posts, I read a couple of blog posts which said that Red Bull as a company is not vegan and there was like, I don't really want to go into that because I don't know the legalities of it but um, that kind of question is confusing for a first-time vegan, I think. I really like the vegan lifestyle. Ever since I stopped doing it, I've often thought of it wistfully. Um, I feel like my food was more varied. I was having fun with food, um, but I just didn't feel like I was doing it right for my body. My body wasn't reacting properly.